If your doctor ordered a serum cortisol blood test first thing in the morning to measure your cortisol, to see if your cortisol functioning might be associated with your blood pressure, your weight gain, your mood changes, your gut dysfunction, I'm here to tell you that a single solitary serum blood test is not going to give you the information that you need to really understand what's going on over the course of the day. I've looked at thousands of these studies, and the reason is twofold. The first is that cortisol in the blood is bound to proteins, in particular a protein known as cortisol binding globulin. So when you obtain a blood sample, you're not really knowing what's available to the cells and what's bound up in these proteins. But the more important reason is that cortisol is secreted differentially over the course of the day. It's a diurnal hormone, which means that it is secreted at different amounts in the morning as opposed to in the nighttime. So if you're only measuring it one time over the course of the day, you're not getting the information that you need to know what's happening over the course of the day. The only way to understand this is with a salivary cortisol test. This measures the free unbound cortisol, which is accessible to your cells, and it also is gonna allow you to see what happens over the course of the day. If you guys wanna know how to interpret and understand a four-part salivary cortisol test, I'm going over everything you need to know in the video that's listed in the description. So click on that link and I'll see you there and let's start getting you better because you know where your cortisol's at. See you in the video.